Good afternoon, Premier Energy Solution here today. We just put in, and this is Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, you see my one in shirt here today. Um, so today we just completed and commissioned the um, installation of this system. It's a 24K system. We have two 12K inverters here and four 10K battery. I just want to explain the system of you know what we did here. This customer actually built a room just to put the inverter system inside here. Um, what you're seeing here, this is the main panel from JPS. So this is the JPS that is um, from, from the utility basically. And this is our inverter panel right here. This is the inverter output that is going to the house. So Brian, this feeds, this feeds directly to the main panel. Yes. It feeds the, the solar, yeah. solar output. It, it, it feeds, no, this feeds to the solar panel in the house, to the, to the rest of the exactly. house. So this panel feeds the main panel that runs all the house within this complex. Because this is a big, almost like a hotel that we are in right here now. And this entire um, hotel slash residence is now running fully yeah, off AC so with how much, Mr. Wilson, how much air conditioning? Eight, eight air conditioning. Eight air conditioning with all the amenities yes, and so all forth. The um, you know, kitchen and you know, yes. everything. Gym, is there. Gym, everything is at this facility. Right. And this 24 kilowatt system is running all of it. So Brian, explain to us what you did here. These are the, the combiner box. The combiner box. Yes, with surge and fuse. Surge, and fuse, and isolator are in these three boxes. Okay. Basically, those 12K inverters, they have three MPP. I know I'm going to get technical, but they have three MPP out. Right. So each inverter has three strings right. going up to the panels. And we have, right now, we are running on 48 panels, and we're going to upgrade it further to probably about 72 panels with this system. But if you see the level of work that, that we do here, how neat, we run everything inside here fresh, including these main, main conduits. We're going to show you where those go. Those go to the generator room. And Brian, this thing is set up now that the solar is main service. Yes. And if you have a power cut, the solar continues to run and the generator is secondary. And the customer wanted to transfer to the generator manually. That's not automatically. Oh, so it's automatic now still. Yes, if you should put the, uh, the transfer switch in off, mm -hmm. it will chip in and run the house. Okay. So if we get a power cut here now, what happens? If, the, if you get a power cut here mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. from JPS, the solar will be keep running the house. And if the solar fails, then the generator will chip in automatically. Okay. So it said once, once you have no power from this. Yes. From this. Right, it does, it, it, it automatically turns on the generator and thing here. I don't really know how you do that, you know, why you tell me how you do it. Because the one there, eh? In the output. Right, but <laughs> so I don't know much about So I want to see how you do that, because that's one of the things we're not so sure of. So, if you look at the quality of work that we do at Premier Energy Solution, we always use the best. Yes, and we always try, sometimes we might be a little more expensive, but we try to do top quality stuff. Yeah. Use the best equipment there is. We put in all the safety things inside all our installation. Right. You know, all, all the surge protectors. You have, you have surge protectors both on the DC side, on the, the AC, AC side. side. Right. So if you have lightning or you know whatever situation, arcing and so forth, this thing will take care of itself. These inverters also have a fan inside of them that you know they keep themselves cool. So you have to have them in a room that have air inside of it. This is the display. We are always showing this, these inverters, but if you look at this display, it can show you the percentage of the battery, how much power is on the, on, you know, how much power is being produced from the, the, the panels, what your house is producing, the grid. It has all the information on it. And also, one of the, this is the master inverter, this is the slave. And what happens in, the, in this case, they are both parallel together and we will basically be able to feed the entire house with these two systems. We also have Wi-Fi, so we can stay from anywhere. We had to use an expander inside this building because it's kind of far away from the regular internet. And we use an expander so that we can have the internet from 
the sticks. So each of these have, have Wi-Fi and we can look at how much energy is being produced each day. We can look at, you know, how much you are using from the grid, how much power is being used by the, the, the residents. You can see all the information online. So this panel here, we can open it. Burn, you can't can open it, lock. Okay, so this is this is this yeah, manual transfer switch. So this is the manual transfer switch that we have here. I haven't seen one of these before, but this is the manual transfer switch and it moves the power from the the solar to GPS. JPS. Or and then the generator transfer switch. That is around here. Right, that yeah. moves from Output. When you have output, no JPS and no solar, then the generator runs. Let's take a look at the generator room. And this generator room was here for a long time. And this is the generator right here. It looks like a 50K. It's a 50, 50, kilo, it's a 50 kilowatt 50 generator. Kilowatt generator. Yes. Yeah. It's a 50 kilowatt generator. And um, this is the generator room. Usually, it's a little messy, but... Usually, most of the time, this was here long ago. Those pipes you see right there, we run those pipes from, you know, this is the main transfer switch here. And the pipes run from this transfer switch and, you know, go over inside the inverter room. And you see those cables, those are the heavy um, cables right there that run it. So you can have a look. And this is the main breaker, what, the breaker panel inside here, right? So this is a very, very large installation, as you can see, and um, successful. This is the main breaker coming from the um, from JPS, as you can look at it and see. Like this. You hold on to the grill of the hand, it's almost just connecting to the grill all the time. It's not drawing any much power, but it requires, it's almost like when you leave your phone charger, plug it to the wall, but you're not charging the phone, mm -hmm. right? So it's very little consumption. So right now, at this time of the day, you're at 100%. How long do you turn on this? Since day. Since day, right. And you're producing all the power. And, um, and and you're at 100%. How much does the battery are full? Where is the excess? The excess is just not used because you don't have any use for it. And the inverter controls that. Hmm? The inverter controls. controls everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, in other words, it, it, it's like almost like a car. If your car it have gas in the tank and you press on the gas pedal, it uses that gas. But when you take your foot off it, it don't use it, yeah. the, the power stays there. Yeah, so yeah. if you're not using No, I know, I just right. concerned because batteries can get overloaded. No, 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 it is yeah. all computer it's control. All computer, right? yeah. Yes, and what happens, there is a communication cable that connects to the battery. Mm -hmm. When the battery reaches like maybe 80 or 90%, it actually slows down the charge mm -hmm. and it don't charge as it's fast as the same batteries that, that Same batteries that is in Tesla yourself. uses? No, it's the same, oh. yes. So yeah, Tesla way. in China uses calcel. It's the same battery that Tesla battery. uses. Right. But the Tesla car in America, not all, some of them, the faster ones, they use a cylindrical battery. Yeah. These are um, the, the Tinder battery. Mm -hmm. So it's very similar. But the Chinese Tesla use this battery, this brand too. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So. What, one of the things that people don't recognize is that the level and the quality of the world. You have people who will give you cheaper stuff, you know. You could take a million dollar off this tomorrow morning if you want. The two million dollar maybe if you want. Mm. But guess what? People who do that do a lot of shortcut. For example, they don't put in all of these surges, you know, like the DC surge and the AC surge and all of those things. There's a whole heap of things that involve that a lot of people omit when they're doing these kind of work. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, you can't just look on price alone. Yeah, sometimes you have to look at the quality of the work you get and, and you know, value for money. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling I'm, I'm you, fully aware of it, right? this yeah. is value for money. And I watch the men work too. Hmm? I watch the men Yes, work. this is professional. And, and when you look, when you look at the levels, you see, you see things like all, when you see all these breaker things, 
If you need to go and see other installations, they don't do things like this. These things are not there. You understand me? This, this here, when you look on this, you know, this is a separation of the battery. This is a battery breakout. Every battery is separately installed, separately have uh, breakers on it and all that. People don't, a lot of installers don't do that kind of thing. You know, and this is the DC side of it. And it's very, you know, like the DC current side, very expensive to deal with. Most people, these things are not even here most of the time. Brian, you see, when you go around, you see, people, not moderate, not moderate. nobody don't put in these kind of things in the, in, this, in the installation. And it is important to have it. So this thing is protected from every angle you can think of. In terms of fires or anything, you're not going to have that here. I can tell you that. Once again, um, we have successfully put in another huge system. We have about, Mr. Wilson, about four, five four, more. Yeah, four, or five. four or five or more these to put these to put in. in. We're really backing up a lot with um, installations now. We probably, we are short on installers. I, we are always short on installers because we have too much work coming in now. But we're trying our best and we always try to make sure we do the best that we can. As you can see, this is really, really a very good job. Brian, I'm going to big you up because you did a very good job. He's the person who supervised this job and you know he's camera shy today but mr wilson introduce yourself yeah. and yes i'm mr wilson i am premier energy sales engineer all right, all right. thanks a lot